to Molly. We are pink and we are powerful. Thanks, Jane. Absolutely fabulous, absolutely fabulous job Jane has done, carrying the responsibility for this over the past 18 months. Um, it's really great to have a party. It's really great to wear pink and see everybody here. It's a really exciting event, but I'm just going to spend a few minutes now reminding us about why we're here on the 9th of August on Nagasaki Day. Um, we didn't quite manage to have our two minutes of silence after our noisy time with the scarf, so hopefully we don't mind having a little quiet time now, just reflecting on the 74,000 lives that were lost by that one bomb that was dropped on Nagasaki 69 years ago. I think my maths is right. And that's, that's really why we're here, that's why we're here in this place, which is the centre of bomb making, nuclear bomb making for our country. Because one of the things we're saying today is that that type of weapon is just immoral. We should not have them in this world and we should not have them here in this country. Hooray! I think it's also worth remembering that nuclear power and nuclear weapons are really closely linked. So back in April, I was demonstrating on the banks of the River Severn on Fukushima Day in March, because it's a terrible irony that the people of Japan, who suffered from the bombs dropped by our side in the war, actually have also suffered from civilian nuclear power and are suffering now from terrible levels of radiation. And we mustn't forget that connection, because the nukes are coming back at us. They're coming back persuading us that they've got the answer to climate change. We've got to stop them building the next generation of nuclear power stations. And yeah. our job... Yes. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> I couldn't agree more with that. Um, and our job in the southwest and in Stroud and all up and down the Severn is to stop Hinkley happening. I, mean, I feel that one of the reasons I've been sent as an MEP is to stop Hinkley being built. It, it's, it's, um, it, it's basically an enormous amount of public money being sent there, and that's illegal under European law. The European Commission want to find that. I believe they want to say to the British government, you just can't subsidise an industry to that extent, because they, they've actually had a consultation on that, which I'm sure a lot of you put responses into and what why are they asking that question if they don't want to say no to the British government so we've got to keep the pressure up over Hinkley because we don't want nuclear weapons but we also don't want nuclear power so why are we actually replacing Trident why is that happening well you know people often say well you Greens you know you're a bit marginal you peace people you're not with the majority but it's absolutely not true over Trident 79% of people in Britain think that we shouldn't replace Trident. We're absolutely with the majority here. The reason it's happening is, as usual, about corporate power and about profits. This site is owned by, I didn't know this until yesterday, but I will share this with you because it's fairly shocking. It's owned by Serco, who are those jokers who, um, you know, made us pay for people who died that they were still tagging. Lockheed Martin, who you may recall ran the census, which I hope a lot of us boycotted, and another US corporation called Jacobs Engineering. So two thirds of what goes on here is actually run by US corporations. It's not about a British independent deterrent, it's about us giving our money to US corporations to build weapons of death. And that's why we've got to stop Trident happening. And the other thing I want to remind us of today is the relationship between the arms trade and the conflicts we see in the world. Because people often say, oh, well, nobody wins out of these conflicts, but that's not true. Because the people that make the weapons, make the bombs, make the guns that are being used in Ukraine and being used in Gaza right now, as we stand here, those are the people that are driving this endless machine of death. And those are the people that we have to stop. We have to stop the arms trade. I mean, we can link all these things together. We can link what's happening here, the deaths of children in Gaza, and the terrible situation facing people in Ukraine. They're all linked by this destructive industry, which should not be called a normal business. And I think we should, we should call for the end of Trident, we should call for the scrapping of Trident, but we should also call for the ending of the arms trade. embarrass my daughter and raising the, the, the energy a little bit as well hopefully because I'm sure a lot of you here were green and women in your time and I know I was yeah, woo! you see it's very true that green and women are everywhere because they're here today and I just wanted to say that it's particularly nice for me that not only are green and women everywhere but green and women's daughters are everywhere and they're here today as well woo! that's all thank you very much enjoy the rest of your day